Hi. Well, we're digging into the depiction of couples in the history of art. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of primordial couples, couples that launched generations. All right, let's pivot to the PowerPoint. All right, terrific. On the left, we'll start with a fresco mural by the Renaissance artist Masaccio called The Expulsion from Paradise. You can find it in a church in Florence, Italy, and it dates to 1427. If you see a couple in art show nude, either standing next to a tree with a female holding an apple or shown in body language of shame, then you're likely looking at the famous biblical couple, Adam and Eve. They represent human desire, even when forbidden. And of course, that was symbolized by the sampling of the forbidden fruit that God forbade them to eat. Here we see the couple once living the life in paradise, where nudity was no problem and there was abundance and plenty and here we see them as you see, as the title reads, the expulsion from paradise, where they are now ashamed of their nudity, um, recognize how they angered God, and above them, an angel wielding a sword evicts them like some kind of barroom bouncer. Images of Adam and Eve often appear along with scenes referencing the life and sacrifice of Jesus like we saw in Jan van Eyck's Ghent altarpiece. To connect the story of original sin to the later sacrifice of Christ um, in, uh, as a gift for mankind's redemption and salvation. They send a message of mistakes uh, made by us lowly humans and um, are meant to remember meant for the believer to remember Christ's sacrifice. It's a way to shape human behavior and hopefully steer most of us away from temptation and sin. On the right, we have an example of a primordial couple from Mali, from the Dogon people. Um, you find this carved wood, 29 inch high um, sculpture dating from the late 19th to early 20th century. It was carved from a single block of wood to imply the inherent strength of the medium, equaling the strength of this primordial couple. There's even a balance, if you look carefully, between positive space, which is the space made up of their bodies, and the negative space, the empty voids between them, between their limbs, between their legs, etc. That balance between negative and positive spaces is symbolic to the Dogon people for ordered human culture, a perfect way to represent these original mother, father ancestors. Once again, we see an example of concept over naturalism with disproportionate figures and take a look at those very long and lengthy uh, torsos, long necks, oval shaped heads, etc. While at the same time, the couple provides um, important ideas to the viewer conveying their strong bond, fertility, and their high status, who, of course, this couple was view viewed as the very first couple. This is an uncommon theme in many cultures of the world, the original ancestors, so to speak, who give a sense of deep family and clan identity. Here, both the man and woman share the same size, equal billing, if you will. The man's arm around the woman shows his bond to her, along with his hand placed on her breast and his other hand on his penis, conveying his virility and their sexual bond. A child clings to this ancestor mother behind her. 
If we could peek back here, there's a small child. His power is shown by the quiver of arrows he wears, which is behind him, indicating that he is a warrior and a hunter, a guardian and a provider for the family. He wears a blunt beard in the style of Egyptian pharaohs, perhaps alluding to power that way. She wears jewelry to convey status, like a mouth piercing. So these are two examples of some very um, old school, ancient primordial couples um, who convey different concepts and ideas and values um, respective to their cultural traditions.